Now, I was worried about hellhounds back on day 70. So, I don't know what to say about that. And we're going to have enough honey hams to, I don't know what, whatever it is. Oops, we don't want morsels. We want uh, monster meat. Oh, this is from all those damn spiders. I was trying to think, why do I have... And evidently, uh, Wilson's beard grows for a long time. You can make honey ham out of this, two monster meats, flowers, and honey, and it helps if you start cooking. I'm sure that's to make sure you don't foo up and uh, oh no, 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 not now. Eat, 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 Wilson. Make a torch. Okay. God damn it. Here they come. Now where's my torch? Now where are the beefaloes? I think they might have... Nope, I don't know what's happening. How did it get to be daytime that quick? Get the torch out of your hands, Wilson. It's... Or I guess I was thinking about them and not thinking about daytime. Alright, it's day 74. So, I don't remember when... Uh, We first went north and did all that stuff. Come on, fat buffaloes. Get off the uh, dead bodies there. They may not have left much. I guess if you get trampled by a buffalo herd, there isn't much left. Now, my cattywampus, yes. I think that's right. Okay. Well, crap, I'll bet that's a bunny. Oh, oh I just put the trap back. Harvest all this crap. Where's my... Oh, did I... I just picked it up, didn't I? I was thinking I could uh, put the, uh, actually I don't have seeds to plant anyway. <laughs> I need to come on sometime and organize all these damn things. Oh shit, we were supposed to burn that damn son of a bitch today. I'm sorry about all my language. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I guess that's all there is to it. There it is. You need to have a bunch of logs except, uh, of course you are, Wilson, you're always hungry. Get a life. Get a hobby. There's meat in tree men. Okay, everybody that wanted to see how to kill one, that's it. 
But you probably, everybody that told me that's how you kill them, you already knew that. It's just a matter of, uh, and I've got a ton of wood, so. I'll uh, probably finish out the day, hit a save point, and, uh, and see what I could find out about that bird trap. Like I said, some of that's hard because in forums you get whatever, you know, if you look up blackbirds or bird trap, well, number one, it won't probably won't let me look up birds. It'll either go to bird or trap. Number two, you wind up with what somebody thinks ought to be done with the birds in the game or something like that. Because, you know, it is a forum. We haven't interacted with any of the pigmen to the extent of uh, getting them to follow us or help us or any of that stuff. Get your ass out of the dark, Wilson, you fool. Probably come up with crap, but you know, life goes on. I'm not going to worry about every damn piece of food I stick in the crock pot. I'll tell you what, as far as I'm concerned, this right here is golden. It's simple, it gets the job done, and you can just stack the crap out of it. Uh, let the fire go out again. What was it? I did it twice in back to back videos or every other video. And Wilson's hungry. Oh, berries would be good. Now, I think the berries actually have a fairly decent healing, not great, but decent healing component that, uh, what you call it, doesn't, that meat morsels don't. I think some of my early videos actually had some of that in them. Okay, well, that did turn out to be crap. Oh, well, life goes on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take a break and uh, see if I can figure out what to do with our birdie trap. And it'll save to this morning, so there's no point in dicking with that trap. So there's some of the houndsy stuff out here. I'll probably forget that by the time I get back. Nope, no sign he ever existed. Bye, Mr. Int. Wonder how the piggies are doing without him. Like I said, all this footage here will be gone because I'll be resetting to this morning. Let's try to figure out what else we need to do and I guess the pigs aren't doing anything stupid. No, I am not a pig. I have no meat either. Do you take cooked meat? So what do you do if you follow me? Somebody said get one to follow me and chop a tree. Oh, they punch trees. How very Minecraft. I guess if you did that and got them to follow, you'd be easier to kill them. <laughs> Damn. Oh, he's going to kill them all? No wonder the ants don't like them. Whoa. I can't think of the, the gentleman's name. Let me pause here for a second. I don't know, let's go ahead and save this since I've already done this and I didn't do anything stupid. Yeah, of course you do. Suggested I uh, chop a tree and then see what happens. Boy, that would cut down on your workload until he turned rogue, wouldn't it? Well, let's chop some more trees. Yeah, kill the tree. I don't want to accidentally hit him. I guess he helps you fight too, but they're no good at it. Oh boy, you're a hungry little bugger. You're worse than Wilson. Is that good enough? Okay. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about getting a crowd of you guys and we go... Well, what happens if you don't feed them when they're hungry? Do they just bugger off? I'm the guy with some meat. 
Oh shit, did I hit him? Oh, I started a pig fight. What a bummer. I didn't mean to do that. Oopsie. I guess there is some uh, danger in this whole thing. Oops. Okay. That was interesting. Do they just get in random fights if you whack one? Yeah, that's all my... I must have dropped them instead of offering them. What I wanted to do was to... And it's too late in the day. I wanted to see if I could get enough of them together to... Uh, <laughs> That's just funny. Where is that gold? Uh, I, I think I'm cattywampus, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, we need to head home. Seeds, seeds, seeds. You know, it's always, in a game, there's always just something totally bizarre that becomes really, really important to you. And you're like, what? That's important. Okay, this time we really are going to take a break. What I was going to do with the... Well, we got the night. We'll do the night. What I was going to do was... Uh, I bet I don't have room for it. What I was going to do was... Uh, Hire a bunch of pigs and, uh, shit, where is gold now? That was one thing Minecraft was right about, was having labels for everything. Well, it's going in there for now. I will come back off camera and sort through everything and get all this lined out because there's no point in you watching me do my inventory. I did include more inventory shots than I normally do me going through chests in a recent video just because I thought if you want to see what I've got and accumulated and have no idea what I should be doing with in the game, at least you could go ahead and pause and uh, I guess that's why you want the beekeeper's hat. Get off me, bee, damn it. I don't want to play this game all night. Stupid bee. I don't think I have anything I feel like eating that's just waste. You'd think with that crock pot thing that... Everything in it is just, you know, stuff that'll, is stuff that'll heal you. Or it's just a complete waste of time to put it in a crock pot. You might as well just cook it one by one. I mean, that's okay. I'm not mad at anybody, but it's kind of like, uh, okay. I don't know. I'm tempted to go get a pig to, uh, we'll hold off on that because I might as well set the trap and then go get the pig and do all that dance. So, and it sure looked to me like they were randomly fighting each other. I don't know why I'm doing this. All this will be gone when I come back. <laughs> this is such a bizarre to me save mechanism. Okay, I think I'm going to check on the swamp, the bird trap, and maybe we'll see if we can get the... I, problem is with getting the hiring pigs to attack a beefalo is... Uh, what was I going to say? You think they land in thickets of these? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. The thing about getting uh, pigs to attack a beefalo is I think all we get out of it is meat. And I, there's not much point in that that I can see. Okay, we'll be back. You got, All of you take care of yourself. Anybody that's uh, uh, started subscribing for this, well, I thank you, and I hope you enjoy the videos. Uh, as you have probably noticed, I do not make how-tos, and I don't make what you would call a walkthrough because I'm kind of blundering through on my own. 
with the uh, morphine I take, I don't always have short or long-term memory. So all this is what it is, and I really like the game, and it's been fun, and I love their sense of humor. It's just freaking hilarious. And I don't think I'll ever build real symmetrical farms, and this is my thicket of saplings. These are my grass stems. Here is my wood. I just, you know... What I saw from the creators was that uh, they thought that led to a boring game. Now, if you're doing it yourself, you're just more organized and it gives you more time to work with on your adventuring. So I'm not knocking the way you play your game. You bought it, you play it how you want to. But I'm just saying I'm going with the organic feel until, until something significant happens. And we're a lot further... I guess that tent changes your character. We might do that just so you can see all the characters by watching my videos. I wasn't crazy about the chick mechanism. It looked funny to me. Don't get me wrong. It, she set stuff on fire with her feet during the night, I guess. But uh, and I guess Wilson's the only one with the meat effigies. But all, as always, don't quote me on that. Anyway, you take care of yourselves, and I'll be back with this dumbass-looking football helmet on. Come on, Wilson, let's walk around while we get our YouTube 20 seconds out of the way. Run on your little Wilson legs. Run. Of course you're hungry. But you'll be reborn at, at breakfast time, and you'll forget about that meat when we come back. That's why you need the football helmet. You are the Gerald Ford of Indie Games.